Hello friends, today we are going to study different tricks or short tricks to solve pair of linear equations. Look here, one by one I am going to give you one one trick so that you can solve these equations very easily. Look here, by looking at the equation only first you come to know that here the ratio of this will be 1 by 2 and here the ratio of this will be also 1 by 2. So what you can say here a1 by a2 that is 2 by 4 so we will get 1 by 2 and here c c1 by c2 if you arrange it in standard form this will become minus 13 and this will become minus 26 so minus 13 by minus 26 what will happen you this will get cancelled and here also you will get 1 by 2 so here if a1 upon a2 and c1 upon c2 are both are same means 1 by 2 here also 1 by 2 whenever this type of thing is there you will get your y equals to 0 I, I had solved this but by uh, seeing only the equation you will come to know that here y will be equal to 0 look here here you can see that here ratio of this b b1 upon b2 will be 1 by 2 and c1 upon c will be also 1 by 2 b1 upon b2 that is 3 by 6 so that will be also become 1 by 2 and c1 by c2 that will also become 13 by 26 or minus 13 by minus 26 because if we will arrange it standard now that will be also 1 by 2 so if b1 and c1 b1 b2 and c1 c2 are equal then we can say your x will be equal to z directly by seeing on only the equation you come to know that if a1 upon a2 and c1 upon c2 is equal then y will be 0 e1 upon b2 and c1 upon c2 are equal then you can say x will be 0 now you can find out the y by putting the value of x in this and you by putting value of y in this you can find out the value of x moving towards the next equation actually here we are going to find out x and by by a short method you call it a short method but actually that is also from one of the methods that we are regularly what we have to do first we have to arrange it in standard form this is basic every time you have to arrange it in standard form then only you will get the answer this will become minus 2 and this will become sorry this will become minus 13 and this will become plus 2 now this is your standard form now directly you can find out x how just you have to write x is equal first you have to multiply these two numbers 3 into 2 6 then you have to multiply these two numbers this two so that will become first you have to write down that 6 minus and then you have to multiply this this will become minus 4 into minus 13 minus sorry plus 50 upon then you have to multiply this 2 into minus 4 minus 8 minus you have to subtract and 5 into 3 that will be plus 50 look here so simple first you have to multiply this with here minus and then this with here then this to this then minus and this to this now we will get directly x value of x 6 minus 52 will become minus 46 minus 8 minus 15 will become minus 23 so this minus minus will get cancelled and you will get answer 2 so you got x is equal to 2 now i am going to tell you how we got this but first we will find out y now you got x now putting it any of the equation you will get y directly you say 2 into 2 plus 3y is equal to 30 so this 3y will be 2 to the 4 and go on that side minus 4 3y is equal to 9 and y will be 9 by 3 that will be 3 now many of you will get the trick from where i got this because you, I had done cross multiplication so you will come to know that I had taken this trick from cross multiplication now for that you should know what is cross multiplication and now look here what is the formula for cross multiplication x upon bc minus bc equals to y upon ca minus ca equals to 1 upon ab minus ab 1 2 2 1 1 2 2 1 1 2 
2 1 so this way i remember this formula you can also remember this formula this is a cross multiplication what i had done i had just multiplied this x1 i had taken this x upon this equals to the one upon this and then i had taken this from the numerator to the denominator means x will be directly equal to this all three are equal so i had taken this two in the consideration and now i multiply this here so i will get x is equal to b1c2 minus b2c1 upon a1b2 minus a2b2 so this is the short trick actually this is from the gross multiplication method only but here we are going doing everything systematically but here we are directly doing it so you can call it short trick or short method thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos thank you so much.